One of my friends was living in a dormitory for a while. He ended up renting a room after fighting with his roommate, who did not get along well. The house was very cheap, near the school, and the transportation around it was quite comfortable. So he signed the contract right away, saying he was lucky. I was doubtful of the ridiculously cheap price, but shrugged it off, thinking, hope everything's okay. But nothing much happened for a year. However, I couldn't see my friend at some point. He was not seen not only in the classroom, but also in frequently visited restaurants, bars, or anywhere else at all. First of all, I began to worry about him. Thinking there might be something urgent going on in his house, I kind of put down my worries. It had been more than five days. Being nervous, I ended up going to his house. However, there was no answer from inside, no matter how many times I knocked and called his name. Thinking he might have really gone to his home, I was about to turn around, and I inadvertently turned the doorknob of his house. But somehow the door was open. Hey, are you in there? The moment I went inside, I couldn't move at all, getting goosebumps all over my body. The walls of the living room were covered with blood. Strangely, there were countless blood stains on the walls of the height of the doorknob only, as if they were dotted with some kind of red paint. At that moment, I noticed that someone who looked like my friend was curled up in a blanket on the bed. I headed to the bed carefully. Hey, I was worried. What happened? Saying this, I tried to roll up the blanket with one hand, but it didn't go up easily. It felt like the blanket had attached to something, so I tried to lift it with both hands. The moment I lifted it, it fell off with a sticky noise. And it was my friend, who was dead with blood all over his body. After his blood flowed from the body and hardened, the blanket and body were stuck together. His eyes were wide open and he seemed to be in extreme fear right before he died. I screamed and immediately reported it to the police. They initially suspected me who was the first discoverer, but soon after when the autopsy and investigation were over, they gave me the details. The cause of his death was excessive bleeding. The other part of his body was perfectly fine, and he had no stab wounds or cuts. But every second joint of his ten fingers was torn out. All the blood on the wall belongs to my friend, and almost half his blood was gone. It was concluded that he died of excessive bleeding while tapping and scratching on the wall, so that his fingers all torn out. It didn't make sense. Perhaps he saw something in the room and found a doorknob to escape, but couldn't open it. The blood was covered on the wall only, because he knocked the wall about the height of a doorknob frantically. And later, he hid under the blanket for some reason, but eventually died because of too much bleeding. Then, what was it my friend did see in his room?